This world wasn't built for the future that's coming. Power grids fail with a single storm. Taps run dry, while oceans rise. In the silence of blackouts and heat waves, something strange is happening. Quiet technologies are emerging, not in headlines, but on rooftops, in gardens, and beneath our floors. Sunlight is flowing through cables. Water is being pulled from the air. Trash is becoming fire. These aren't fantasies. They're real, working now, changing how we live without us even noticing. Behind every wall, there's a hidden system preparing us for what's next. The question is, will you be ready? Let's dive in. The light that moves through cables. In a city not known for its sunshine, Gothenburg, Sweden, something remarkable was born. An invention that brings sunlight to the darkest corners of our homes. It's called the Solros system. And it doesn't work like a solar panel. It's more like a portal. Here's how it works. Outside, a small concentrator tracks the sun as it moves across the sky. At its heart is a Fresnel lens, something you'd usually find in a lighthouse. This lens captures real sunlight and channels it through a fiberglass cable that's barely an inch wide. But inside that cable are 37 optical fibers, guiding pure daylight deep into buildings. No heat, no UV, just light. That light spills out into specially designed indoor luminaires, illuminating up to 329 square feet with up to 10,000 lumens of real, full-spectrum sunlight. It's the kind of glow you can't fake with LEDs. One that lifts your mood and boosts your focus because it's not artificial. It's nature, delivered indoors. The Solrose system doesn't just reduce energy bills. It rewires our relationship with space. A basement office becomes a sunlit sanctuary. A windowless hallway starts to breathe. And every time the sun rises, your home lights up with it, even if your windows don't face east. Installation is guided through an app. The system quietly tracks daylight hours. No noise, no switches, no effort. It's not just lighting. It's sunlight reimagined, funneled, focused, and freely flowing where it was never meant to go. Drinking water, pulled from thin air, in the driest corners of the world, where water scarcity shapes daily life, a silent machine is rewriting what's possible. It doesn't dig wells, it doesn't need pipes. It simply pulls clean drinking water straight from the air. This is the source hydro panel, and it runs entirely on sunlight. On the surface, it looks like an ordinary solar panel. But inside, something extraordinary happens. Solar-powered fans draw in humid air. A special material captures the water vapor, condenses it, and purifies it. The result? Cool, mineral-enriched water, magnesium, calcium, and all, stored in a sterile reservoir, ready to drink. Each panel can produce around 2.5 to 3.5 liters per day, depending on the climate. That's enough to replace about 180 bottles of water every month, with no wires, no grid, and no external plumbing. Imagine a home, school, or health clinic that never runs out of safe water, even during a crisis. Source panels are built to last 10 years and require only annual maintenance. They're designed for off-grid communities, but work just as well in modern homes, and every drop they create bypasses plastic bottles and outdated infrastructure. This isn't just a product, it's a lifeline. Quiet, clean, and constant, drawing water where there was none. It feels like magic, but it's science in the service of survival. 
Turning Trash Into Fire What if your leftovers could cook your next meal? What if the waste rotting in bins was a hidden energy source? That's exactly what home biogas systems make possible. Using anaerobic digestion, a natural process where bacteria break down organic matter without oxygen, these compact backyard units turn food scraps, animal manure, and even human waste into clean-burning biogas. No smoke, no smell, just flame. Biogas generated from a home biogee unit can be piped directly into a stove to cook meals. And what's left behind? A nutrient-rich liquid fertilizer, perfect for gardens or farms. It's a full-circle system, waste in, fuel and food out. Each unit processes up to 2,200 pounds of organic waste per year, preventing over 12,000 pounds of CO2 emissions. Since 2012, the company has spread to over 100 countries, quietly transforming how households and small farms manage their waste. There's no need for a sewer line, no grid connection, just a simple, self-contained solution for energy independence. And at under $1,000, it's a rare piece of clean tech that almost anyone can afford. It's not just sustainable, it's personal. Turning what we throw away into something we depend on. That's power, literally. Energy in the wind and sun. In a world where power outages can strike without warning, some people are building their own quiet grids, systems that harvest energy from the sky and store it for when it matters most. Victron Energy makes this possible with a modular setup that blends solar panels, batteries, inverters, and even smart monitoring systems. Whether you're living off-grid or just want backup during storms, their equipment adapts, powering cabins, homes, even boats and camper vans. But energy doesn't have to come just from the sun. Enter the Eva Wind Wall, a sleek structure of vertical turbines designed for urban environments. It doesn't roar. It spins quietly, blending into office buildings, rooftops, and public spaces. One wall can generate over 2,000 kilowatt-hours annually, enough to make a serious dent in energy bills. Then there's the solar carport, an aluminum and steel structure that shelters your vehicle while generating electricity from its roof. With panels producing up to 5,000 kilowatt-hours a year, it can power a home or send an EV 25,000 kilometers. Each of these systems isn't flashy. They're designed to work in silence, to turn rooftops, parking lots, and windy corners into power stations, quietly, efficiently, and always ready when the grid fails. Heating, cooling, and surviving the unknown. When temperatures drop below freezing or climb past comfort, most homes depend on gas or electric systems that crack under pressure. But a quiet shift is happening underground, on rooftops, even beside old wood stoves. Take the dandelion geothermal system. It taps into the steady temperature beneath the Earth's surface to heat and cool your home. No flames, no fossil fuels, just quiet, consistent comfort using up to four times less energy than traditional systems. And once installed, it works year-round, silently and invisibly. Then there's the Sunbank solar water heater. With evacuated tube collectors and stainless steel tanks, it captures over 90% of solar heat, even in cold climates. On cloudy days or at night, a backup electric coil kicks in. It's built for reliability, not just savings. But perhaps the most surprising is the thermoelectric generator. Using the heat from a wood stove, it produces electricity, enough to charge batteries, run lights, or power small devices. No grid required, just fire and science. Each of these systems is about more than comfort. They're survival tools built to keep you warm, powered, and safe no matter what's happening outside. And once you install them, they're always ready, always on.
Now first, like always, be sure to hit the like button down below. It helps us out tremendously with the reach of this video. Thank you. Small wonders that change everything. Sometimes it's the smallest things that shift everything. Imagine blinds that don't just block sunlight, they use it. Solar gaps are smart solar blinds that track the sun like sunflowers. As they tilt through the day, they generate up to 100 watts of electricity per square yard. Enough to charge your phone, power your lights, or ease the burden on your energy bill. They even help cool your room, reducing the need for air conditioning. Now imagine collecting rain as it falls. The rainy filtration system turns your rooftop into a water source. With self-cleaning filters and no need for electricity, it can collect and purify hundreds of gallons each year, supplying nearly a third of a household's water needs naturally. Then there's the Re Gen exercise bike. As you ride, it stores electricity in a detachable battery. Your morning workout becomes power for your phone or tablet. Fitness meets function. And for those living without power, the Lumiere K lamp uses cooking oil and a small flame to generate bright LED light. It's safer than kerosene and a hundred times brighter than a candle. Each of these inventions is simple, but together, they change how we live, quietly reclaiming power from everyday moments. Backup systems for a fragile world. When the grid goes down, most people are left in the dark, literally. But for those prepared, blackout doesn't mean breakdown. The Geniverse solar generator is one of the most advanced home backup systems. It combines a powerful battery station with solar panels to keep appliances running for up to seven days. Whether it's your fridge, lights, or internet router, this system delivers clean, silent power. No fumes, no noise, no gas needed. For more portable resilience, the Blip One power station plugs into a regular wall socket, charges up during low rate hours, and supplies power during peaks or outages. It's compact, smart, and renter friendly perfect for those who want flexibility without complex setup. Then there's the Eaton FRX3 emergency radio. It's not just a radio. It's also a flashlight, smartphone charger, and solar-powered alert system. Crank it by hand if needed. It even glows in the dark. In fragile times, these devices aren't luxuries. They're lifelines, power, communication, light. They keep us connected when everything else fails. And in a world of climate shocks, cyber attacks, and aging infrastructure, having your energy safety net might be the smartest decision you ever make. The future isn't waiting for governments or big corporations to act. It's already unfolding in backyards, rooftops, and remote villages. These innovations aren't just about technology. They're about dignity, independence, and quiet resilience. A lamp that runs on cooking oil. A kite that powers a village. A bike that charges your phone. It's not science fiction. It's a different kind of progress. One that starts small, but grows with every drop of water saved. Every light that stays on. These systems won't make headlines, but they might just change everything. The question now isn't what's possible, it's what you'll choose to do next.